Today we are going to be making a mold and I'm using alginate. Alginate. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's basically single use mold making material. Very light material. It almost feels like powdered sugar. It is mixed one to one by volume with water. So the first time I saw this done, May of this year at Maker Central, Scott Grove, he runs a YouTube channel called Imagine Grove, and he made casts of our thumb. I've heard of Alginate, I've seen videos on YouTube about it, but I've never actually gone through the process myself. After seeing Scott go through it, I felt like it was something I could do. And I mix it all together with a paint mixer. And this is where things went south last time. All I'm going to do is pour this in. Oh no. So I'm going to move kind of fast. This is a mold. Maybe I'll take some pictures of it later. This is my left foot. already getting stiff. That is crazy. I wonder... I'm so sorry, I need your help. If you have a moment. I'm so sorry. Okay, need? I need something to clean my hand off. Thank you. Oh, here I am. My foot in a tub of alginate. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Alginate. Alginate. And uh, yeah, just slopped it everywhere. Actually, on the first batch I did, I actually got some on my ceiling. No! Oh! Blast it all. Is it hot? Uh, it was. It was definitely hot. Uh, it feels... It's not as hot as it was. It definitely just feels warm now. There were directions, but I didn't read them. No. There was like three sheets. You know I want to read it. Three sheets? Yeah, which seemed like a lot for just mix these two together and... You know, do your thing. Oh, warmer water will cause the material to cure faster with less working time. Oh, there, there's your problem. <laughs> the cold water tap out here doesn't work, so I'll, I'll use the hot water tap. Yeah, I feel like it's hardened, so that's a good thing. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely firmed up. Oh no, come on. It's busting. Oh! Yuck! Yuck. That's I good. do not like that. Uh, I think that's what birth feels like. I don't. No. I don't remember. No. Well, no. no. I mean, no. no. This is a mold. Hopefully, a good mold of my my left foot. This is pretty fragile, so I want to be careful with it. And what we need to do now is we need to fill this with resin. I roughly need around. 38 ounces of resin to do that. So what I'm using today is actually a brand new resin for me, a clear casting epoxy resin from a company called Chem Resin, and this resin is mixed in a two to one ratio. So that means I will do 12 ounces of resin, then I need to do six ounces of hardener, which will put me at 18 ounces in each of my cups. And we stir till it goes clear. Actually, that, okay, that goes incredibly clear. All right, today we're going to use some of my powders. This is the shiny red. I've used this before. I know you guys like it. We're going to use a good amount of that and try to make it equal amounts in both sides. Seems to take it pretty well, actually. Okay. Now the reason I picked this resin is because when I met Scott in England, he said that his resin could be poured in huge amounts without worrying about overheating. And since we're going to be pouring almost a liter of resin in a confined area, this seemed like the perfect resin to use. So I think I made a pretty major mistake, which is I don't think I should have let this stay overnight. So this resin takes 
I don't know, a while to cure. It's been about 24 hours and it still feels a little tacky. This mold material, this alginate, um, it seems to break down and lose the water that you add to it, um, which could really mess up the resin curing. So this, this might not, this might not work. Yeah, this thing is just slick with water. I think I made a, I think I might have made a fatal error. All right, so this is a one-time mold. Let's see what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Resin's really soft. But still, I don't know, um, a pretty, pretty interesting looking piece. My toes, that's actually really neat. Okay, that's actually really neat. Major props to the resin though. It didn't overheat at all. So that's pretty cool. Sadly, um, kind of in a mess here. It's been a couple of days. I've let it sit out here and sort of dry. And there's a couple spots that are still a little tacky, but I've come up with an idea. These self-adhesive felt pads. This was always going to be a doorstop. That's its function. Um, and I had originally seen this idea years ago made out of concrete. And that's what most people use with the alginate is they pour concrete in it. And at the time I saw that, I thought, well, why don't you use resin? And now I know the answer uh, because the, the two materials seem fairly incompatible. If you pour a quick setting resin, it'll be too hot in that volume and the resin will boil itself away. But if you pour a slow setting resin like this, then at some point the resin is trying to cure while sitting in pools of water. So this was my first attempt. I did this back in July and I thought I wanted a clear casting and I actually used art resin for this. And the art resin actually boiled. If you look at the bottom of this foot, there's no details at all. It's just a shape and those are all pock marks from it's sitting in liquid. You can't see the prints on the toes. If you contrast that to the detail that I got out of this casting. Now, all things considered, the fact that this cured hard after basically sitting in a pool of water for 20 hours is amazing to me. I do have to say though, I had a lot of fun experimenting with this and trying something new. I bought another box of alginate, so I've got more for the future. Maybe we'll try some smaller castings so I can use some quick set resin. It didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but it was still a good process. I think I learned a lot and I hope you guys got something out of it. Thank you very much for watching.